Did we really need a sequel to Olympus as follows? Well? Mike, we're getting you out. Go, go, go! Rooftop, three o'clock! Brace right back. Oh my god. This film joins that very big lift of proof that proves that originality is indeed dead. But that's not necessarily a bad thing for London Has Fallen. London Has Fallen is an okay film. It's enjoyable because of its stupid action and boy do I mean stupid. Before you walk into the theater you already know how this film is going to begin and end. The protagonist is played by Gerard Butler and he is again protecting the president, this time in London instead of the White House. The last film didn't really have a story centered around our protagonist. The only thing he had to do was save the president. This time around he's getting ready for his first kid. All of that's really textbook stuff and all of that's rather boring. The film gets to be a lot of fun when the action kicks in. The action in this film is relatively awesome compared to the first one. There are other elements of this film which are relatively worse when compared to the first film but the action is one of those things which is better than Olympus has fallen. And the action's cool because it's rather inventive. There's a scene where Gerard Butler is escorting the president after the attack has happened in a black Range Rover and there's a guy hanging, a terrorist hanging on that said Range Rover. But they talk shit to each other and Gerard Butler literally rams him onto the wall of a tunnel. That's really cool and pretty violent if you ask me. It's like a mix of The Raid Part 2 and Vantage Point. Obviously this film is a throwback to the 80s action films. It's all 80s this plot. The bad guy is played by Dr. Pavel from The Dark Knight Rises. I do not know what this actor's name is. He wants to kill all the world's leaders for some reason. He succeeds partially but the American president is the one man who he doesn't succeed in killing. Gerard Butler and Aaron Eckhart are on the run from this bad guy. He's not really a defined bad guy. He's just Mr. Bad Guy. You're expected to hate this guy but I really can't hate him because I don't know anything about him. Supposed to hate him because he looks kind of Arabic. I have no problem with the story that London Has Fallen is telling. The Die Hard formula will never ever get old but I do have problems with certain elements they took liberty with with that Die Hard formula. The brilliance of Die Hard is John McClane, the hero of that film, the protagonist, is always one step behind the antagonists even when he seemingly seems to get ahead of the antagonists. There are a couple of scenes which have Gerard Butler get ahead and stay ahead of the antagonists and that kills tension, a lot of tension. Another thing I enjoyed about London Has Fallen was the upgrade from the White House to the whole city of London. That was kind of cool. They gave them a bigger playing ground and obviously more bigger action sequences. But this is my problem. You have bigger action sequences. What's up with this God awful CGI, computer generated imagery. What is going on? Did you get interns to do this work? It makes absolutely no sense. If you are upgrading the budget for a sequel, make sure you invest money in the visual effects department as well. And given that this movie is a cheap cash in of the 80s and 90s action movies, not a love letter but a cash in, and add in the atrocious assembly line CGI of this film, all I have to say about London Has Fallen is that it is a very lazy film. How lazy you might ask? Look at the poster of London Has Fallen. They couldn't even come up with a tagline, literally. The tagline is the sequel to Olympus Has Fallen. But this is getting really annoying now. Just because a film is a surprise hit doesn't mean the sequel of that surprise hit will be a hit as well. The definition of a surprise hit is when people walk out of the theater and tell each other, you know what, that film looked like dog shit, but you know what, it wasn't dog shit. It was actually pretty good. It was better than dog shit. That is the definition of surprise hit. This type of film and this type of release just shows how out of touch Hollywood is with its audiences. I am going to give London Has Fallen a final score of 2 out of 5. This is a film literally no one asked for. Thank you so much for watching people. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. After all, it is free. And I'm not going to ask you to share this video, but I will ask you to spread the word about me if you enjoyed this video. Tell your friend circle about me. Hey, I know this film critic. He's kind of cool. So yeah, people, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you again. Remember to love yourselves.